just had a monsoon and I wanted to show you guys remember when I said in one of my videos that this wall never gets wet and I'm standing under the one piece of metal I threw up here uh, but look at it. the ledger board is not wet none of that wall is wet I did go buy some flashing today and I also ordered some uh, membrane tape uh, to go up there too but like I said man you know very rarely does this wall ever see moisture but we're gonna do it right I'm gonna get back on this in the morning if the weather cooperates uh, but this is a good good sign and man I am ready to get this thing going now I did get a little moisture down here and we're gonna fix that once it's enclosed it won't get moist at all it's probably from that slope I gotta bust that out somehow and do something with it but uh just wanted to show you guys real quick and got everything covered real good I pr we probably got two three inches of rain it was coming down and again the wind was straight out of the north I don't understand that 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 has only happened this year but the garden is getting a good soaking yeah I got some awesome smells out here from honeysuckle and all the wildflowers so I can't wait to get this done and get out of here and just sit out here I'm gonna put my computer out here and everything and I am gonna make a bigger overhang I know some of you had suggested that I do have extra metal this will not go to waste I will use this in the front and I think you know I wanted to do the bird's mouth but with the room up uh, it just I couldn't do it but I could attach a cool looking deal out there to put the tent on we'll see what happens man now I gotta get Libby out of that doghouse and get her in her kennel and she's not gonna come out of there all right guys finally got a break in the rain I'm back at it I uh, pulled that piece of metal off I'm gonna cut another one I'm only gonna cut a foot off of it so it has a good I think about seven eight inch overhang uh, I don't need to put any flashing in between the deck and the roof I am gonna put a big piece attached to the wall and it'll come out about this far onto the joist that'll divert divert any rain uh, off onto the metal so uh, I've ordered some membrane tape and that'll seal off everything. I'm also going to run it on the joist uh, as a barrier. Uh, had a rough start this morning. <laughs> I parked over here. Let me show you. Park over there so Libby can get under my truck and get shade. Well, I open the passenger door. Guess who jumps in there? Her. Would not come out. She'd snarl at me. I went to get her out. Yeah, you know you was a bad girl. You know you were. Oh, she is my by far most difficult dog, but ain't nobody else gonna want her. She's good most of the time, but she's very stubborn. All right, let's get going on this build, man. All right, let's throw this one up there. this clay that I dug out sticks to your shoe it don't come off man right, hopefully I got this one more square ah, I want that edge out that's a cut edge you should always carry metal like this so you don't kink it
And I'm going to have to notch it around the pole. And yeah, that's about the overhang I want. Alright. It's consistent all the way down, but that's going to come over. Alright, I'm on. These, not, these poles screw me up. I'll have to notch it and put that membrane, membrane uh, stuff flashing around it. Yeah, don't want to do that. I hate this grinder. I gotta get this clay out of here, man. Get 10 pounds of clay on my boots.
Eight inches. Exactly eight inches. That thing perfectly square and straight. Ready to be tapped down. This. Wouldn't you like to ride in my beautiful balloon? All right, sheet number two going up. Sheet number three. more the well, next one needs I have to figure out the next one yeah and let me show you over here I can't get in there so I'm gonna have to get a piece of plywood go up top I'll probably wait till I put the flashing on up there and then put the last three screws in the roof there uh, but it's coming along we'll have this thing roof today all right all right guys the best way i've figured to do this is i'm going to put the full sheet up here before this pole and i already marked i'm going to notch this out 21 and a half inches and then slide it that way and then i'm going to put another whole sheet there uh, otherwise you know i would have had to cut a whole sheet down the middle patched it in it would look terrible i wouldn't have a lip on the other side so we'll see how this works it's the only way i can figure it's going to maintain that edge overhang all the way down and you ain't gonna see the it, it'll work let's go watch let me get this thing cut all right cut the square out right here when you use these grinders to cut metal these discs they don't last very long so you gotta get several of them i'm already on the third one but i've used it to cut those Joyce hangers. All right, let's do this. are about 30 pounds a piece. <sighs> now if you was doing a roof you didn't want that was going to be seen, you probably wouldn't want to do this. You may scratch it. This will not be seen.
Daggum Nation. See what I'm dealing? Right there. And then the next sheet's gonna cover all that. I don't have to cut it. I'm gonna have to put some blocking in. Help shore it up. Right there is where I want it. Right there. Alright, I'll finagle it in there. And that's what I was doing. These channels line up perfect. All right. All right, guys, I'll bring you in for a closer look. I blocked this part here where this is hanging, and I'll be able to put screws in that. It ain't going nowhere. And I'll show you what I did. I blocked it or where I notched this. Now I'm going to slide a whole piece over this. Covers that hole. I still got my overhang. Everything's lined up good. And uh, two more sheets. And like I said, I'm leaving this part off for now until uh, I get this wall framed up, which I'll be starting on here pretty soon. Don't know if I'll get to it today, but soon. All right, some of these dogs driving me nuts over there. It is very muddy and messy over here, guys. I mean, <laughs> look at my boots. Look at my ladders. And I'm going to have to hose this thing off when it's all said and done. But we had quite a bit of rain the last couple days. All right, I got two sheets left, and then I've got that piece. Uh, use that probably for that breezeway that I'm putting in the front. All right, all right, brought you guys up here. Uh, this is how much we got on. Here's what I did here rather than to have this whole sheet slid over a foot and a half to cover this gap, just took a piece of that scrap because this roof is not going to be seen anyway because uh, they're going to be a like a hardware cloth mesh here i'll paint it black uh, to keep the birds out uh, i might even use the screen i've got 100 foot of that screen but yeah just put a patch in it's shingled so water's going to flow down down i might even throw a little caulk in there but uh you know why waste this whole sheet another whole sheet coming way over here so but it's coming and a lot of this i'm gonna have to screw in from up here i'm gonna have to put some board down and reach over and screw it in i'll just have to measure where the studs are uh that should be able to, able to measure from the ones that it was able to get in all right i got one more sheet to throw on and we're calling this part good for the time being guys it's starting to rain i've got to get everything buttoned up here it's why it's hard to build this time of year you know and all this week we're gonna have 40 percent chance afternoon showers they come on they come and they go but i'm i've got the roof on except for that end piece we're waiting for the wall so but i can it's raining now i ain't getting wet 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, we've got a lot more videos coming of this build, and then we're going to build a storage building down here on the end. I'll show you. There's another slab there. That's also going to be the puppy dog getting out of the heat room. But I'm going to have it for canned goods, things like that. Climate controlled, sort of. Alright guys, I've got to get some things covered. Uh, give me a like. Give me another like. Happy trails.